Aujourd'hui, uh, je vais parler de whether I'm having way too much fun laughing at Facebook being down. I mean, honestly, I can't believe people wasted energy writing about how catastrophic Facebook being down was. Because hopefully, not surprisingly, it affected me not a bit. But today, we'll answer the question, Facebook, what is it for anyway? <laughs> Yeah, uh, Zampak here. Another day, another one bites the dust. Uh, I am, of course, talking about Facebook being down for hours, multiple hours. Oh my, my, my. A global company with billions of users can't bother to keep the lights on? Oh man, I hope somebody got fired over this one. Uh, frankly, I'd imagine it's a whole team that got fired over this type of ineptitude. Now, uh, obviously, I have worked at a giant tech company before. I mean, when things go down, there's usually a, a contingency or something and people will be on it immediately. The larger the company, the shorter these uh, failures are supposed to last. I mean, it's only logical when you're talking about places with billions in cash, right? Or at least that they should be investing in infrastructure. So a multi-hour shutdown must be so embarrassing. But hey, gave me this idea to talk about, so I guess that must be the silver lining question I want to answer is, I, I, I mean, I, I know everyone or most everyone I know uses Facebook, Facebook, right? But why? What purpose does it still serve in this day and age, if any, right? I mean, so let's have ourselves a quick breakdown. I mean, these are just my opinion and they're true for me. So comment below if you disagree or whatever, but like and sub and all that jazz, only if you want. <laughs> Number one, uh, who is Facebook actually for at this point? I'd say it's great for old people. I mean, old people like me, uh, that is. Did you know, kids, that when Facebook came out, it was exclusive. It was for kids that went to college. And before that, it was even more exclusive. It was for kids who went to good colleges. And now what is it? Literally anyone who wants to join can join. So who cares, okay? The moment my folks asked to add me on Facebook was the moment that I stopped thinking Facebook was anything or anywhere that anyone would want to be. <laughs> Let me be clear, I joined back in the day when it was semi-cool, and now it's pretty much the di uh, diametric opposite of that. Who else it is it good for? Uh, you know, I think it was, uh, you know, social media. It was termed uh, to be a, a way to get into contact with your old friends that you've lost touch with. But do you know why you've lost touch with them? Oh yeah, it's clearly because you don't really care that much about them to begin with, right? So instead, now let me just speak from my experience, right? I'm sure my own list of Facebook friends mostly qualifies as people I've met at least once who I have a mild interest in keeping a tab on. Now, uh, if I ever log in, uh, that is, which I don't really, not that often anyway. Ah uh, yes, and I don't believe that my experience is that unique, frankly, right? After all, we all know what a Facebook friend is. It's basically a not so real friend, right? I didn't define it, but that's how it's used. Uh, point number two, uh, getting your news? Oh lord, have you guys not been reading the real news lately? By real news, I mean organizations that actually spend their livelihoods on this subject and do such basic things as fact-checking. In case you've been living under a rock, Facebook turns out to be a terrible source of educa uh, educating people on anything related to, you know, reality. Okay. Instead, it's great at being an ideological echo chamber for any and all ideas, right? You could be the kookiest person on the planet who doesn't believe in science or math or facts, and you'd find your tribe right there on Facebook telling you that everything is, is exactly as you thought. So this is where technology isn't good or bad, but simply serves as a tool, right? We as a country grows more partisan because it always feels nicer to listen to other, uh, listen to other people who tell ourselves that we are right. So there you go. The idea that there's actual objective news is a thing of the past, and with the help of Facebook, we can all live in a world where we're safe and secure in our bubbles of unreality and utter delusion. Yay, get your news here, if you're a complete moron, that is. God. Uh, point number three. Oh, new tabs. Games. Watch. 
Oh Jesus, when did when did Facebook add these? I've never touched them once and well I get that one's a ripoff of uh, Twitch and the other one is a ripoff of YouTube. I'm not sure what they do better exactly at either of these fields. Uh, this isn't because I'm old, by the way, uh, just because this is really more because I'm an introvert, right? You know, when I play video games, I want single player experience. I don't care about achievements. I don't care about playing on teams. To me, a great video game is more comparable to a great book or movie solitary experience. Now sure, I do like talking about games with others, so maybe it serves some purpose, but then in this modern age of gaming with its in a, a inane focus on in-game monetization, I'm pretty positive that Facebook, with its already established horrific attitudes towards privacy, would not be the champion of the consumer here either, right? So hard pass for now. But I don't know, you know, I'm leaving myself some room to wiggle because I'm getting old, so maybe I'm just slow to adapt. Maybe someday I'll find that killer feature in either of these two, you know, new tabs and give it a go. Just not yet. Now, it would be unfair for me to go through this bashing of Facebook without mentioning some of the things that I do like it for, right? So here are the two items that I do find somewhat useful. So, uh... Sub point one is that I mainly use Facebook as a glorified birthday reminder. Yep, that's about it. Uh, that is if I even actually remember to log in every day just to check that, right? Some days I forget and then I'm forced to write those lame, happy belated birthday wishes instead of, uh, it's that, right? How embarrassing. However, I do thank Facebook for this because otherwise there's no chance I'd had any idea whose birthday it is on any given day outside of the handful of my closest family members that I have memorized. Okay. Now, sub point two, which is uh, groups. I guess this is actually one of the relatively new features that I do find somewhat helpful. I mean, it kind of replaces my need for websites such as Meetup. Uh, the only problem, of course, with groups is that the people in it are still people, okay, and it misses uh, any type of tech control for moderation. Honestly, if I was Facebook, I'd be embarrassed at how bad the moderation is. Groups are just filled and inundated with freaking spam and fake profiles. Now, this isn't particularly a Facebook problem alone, I'll give you that, but still, if you're the biggest social network on the planet, people look to you to be the leader instead of just mired in mediocrity like everybody else, okay. Hey look, at the end of the day, one of the great drivers of humanity uh, is its ability or desire to goof off and not be productive. And I suppose wasting time on Facebook is just as good as any other way to waste time. But it doesn't change the fundamental problem of social medias in general, whether it be Facebook or this one that I'm using right now. Which is that if the product is free, then you, the consumer, is the product. After all, all these companies need to make money, right? So to me, the fundamental question that stems from this exercise should be this. Are you willing to trade your data for a reasonable way to goof off while realizing that you're probably enclosed in an ecological, uh, ideological echo chamber of your own making? If yes, then continue on as before. If not, you know, maybe step back a bit. All right. My choice has already been made, obviously, since I am literally contributing to this environment right now. But that's, you know, because uh, I'm already rich, so I need to do something to occupy my, uh, occupy my time, you know, especially in the view of my wifey, right? And making videos are productive. Oh boy. How about you? Were you in the same boat? <laughs> Think about that. Cheers. I'll approach it.